This is Playmo Bello. This is set 3153. It comes with three Viking characters. They're all unique and awesome looking, especially this guy here with a yellow cape, yellow and blue. We have two warriors with swords. This one also has an axe. They both have shields. And then we have this guy here that's an arrow man. He has a short bow, arrows on his back here, and a little knife for the moments when the enemy might be too close to use a bow. They also come with this awesome ram. It's just a ram that you push manually because they are Vikings barbarians from the Nordic days. Hold on this lever here. You have another guy on this other side. And then you go forward, boom, 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 until the door of the castle is taken down. So let's say this guy here is the leader because he's the best well-dressed and he has a cape. Normally cape indicates status of leadership. We have both guys here holding on the lever and then you push it full back and forward, boom, 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 boom. It's a little harsh as you can see to keep them both standing as you do the movements, unless you hold it like this, I guess. There you go, now you can do it. The ram also comes with a little spear here right in the top. You remove that spear and attack the enemy as the circumstances arise. The ram will probably take some pieces of the door down and then they can spear them, arrow them and continue to take the whole door down to invade that castle. Just a little ram like this, look at the size of this, comes with three Vikings. The army of Vikings at the end, if you have the whole set from the year 2002, is going to be tremendously large. So so I know what you're thinking because I was thinking the same thing. It would be really cool to take a castle down or a door down with one of the Vikings riding on top of the ram. But unfortunately, there's nowhere to hold on. There's nowhere to sit and stay there. He just can't stay on it. It, it, it would have been really cool if you could. So let's give another look at these characters here. They're all armored and with their swords out of their belts. They're ready to attack. This guy got the spear and the bow and arrow because he's just not full of weapons. And look at that. That's their backs, the cape, how it looks looks like they are awesome their outfits is awesome and it's just yet another bunch of vikings that are really well designed by playmobil and here are all the accessories you have a cool looking blue shield with dragons on it there's this awesome looking dragon boat style like a serpent sea serpent two swords a little hat that matches his wrist cuffs boots neck cape for this guy here a helmet that's like rohan style axe one spear that goes on top of the ram bow which is called a short bow, a little dagger knife, arrows, and a helmet. This guy here has a matching wrist cuff. This guy here has a sword holster on his belt. Same for this guy. All his wrist cuffs, boots, everything matches, including his hat. And this is how their backs look like. We have enough Vikings or do we need some more? These are the bolt ones. These are the eight ones from the long ship. Then the fortress ram Vikings. I found a shield for the sea dragon, sea monster, sea serpent set. Right there, it's blue with the blue dragons on it. Whee! 